Hello everybody, it's Rob here. Rob Bidolf, here's a picture of me. Look, there's me. Oh, and look, this chap, this is my dog. This is Ringo. So if you'd like to see a picture of me and Ringo. So my name is Rob Bidolf, and I am a children's author and illustrator. Now, we have a very special episode of Draw With Rob for you guys today. I'll just put my piece of paper there in the middle. Now, my friends at Paramount Pictures have asked me if I would show you guys how to draw one of their characters. And that character is called Sonic the Hedgehog. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. When I was younger, I used to play Sonic the Hedgehog video games with my sister and we both absolutely loved it. And I used to practice drawing Sonic the Hedgehog all the time when I was younger. So for me to be here today, to be able to show you how to draw him really is a dream come true. Okay, now, Sonic. You might think he's very, very difficult to draw, Sonic, because he's quite a complicated looking chap, isn't he? But do you know what? It's like all my drawings. If you break him down into little tiny bits, little tiny shapes, he's actually really, really easy to draw. So that's how it's going to work today. I am going to show you how to draw Sonic a little tiny piece at a time. OK, so I will draw a little bit here. Then you will pause the video and you will draw exactly what I draw. Then you can start the video again. I will draw a little bit more. Pause it. Copy what I do. I draw. You draw. I draw. You draw. I draw. You draw. And at the end, we're all going to end up with a lovely picture of Sonic the Hedgehog. OK, shall we start? Let's go. Right, so all you need is a piece of paper and a pen. And then maybe a bit later, you might need some colouring pencils or some felt tips or something. OK, Sonic the Hedgehog, here we go. We are going to start with a very simple shape. A little tiny oval, almost a circle, actually like that, that we're just going to colour in black. Look at that. Lovely, easy start. OK, now the next thing to do is a funny shape, sort of a bit like a banana shape. What we're going to do, we're going to put our pen right in the middle of our black circle here. And we're going to come out. We're going to come around like that, all the way around like that. And where should we go up to? We're going to go up to about here, I think. And it's going to be a slightly sort of curvy shape like that, okay? It's a bit funny, doesn't it? Looks a bit like, looks like a baked, a long baked bean sunbathing with a smaller black baked bean on his tummy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about really, but hey, never mind. Okay, next, we are gonna draw a great big oval shape like that. It's gonna come down from about here. It's gonna come all the way down and around. It's gonna join up with that black shape that we drew in the first place. And then we are going to draw another one, but this time it's going to be much thinner. And it's just going to come down and around and we're going to join up with sort of the end of our cheek there. Now I wonder if you can tell which bit of Sonic we are drawing at the moment. Do you know what? This might give you a bit more of a clue. In that long baked bean shape that we did right at the beginning, what I want you to do is just a little curved line towards the end like that. And then joining up with that curved line, we're going to do another curved line, a little bit longer. And we're going to make a lovely smiling mouth. I bet you can all tell now which bit of Sonic we are drawing, can't you? That's right, this is his mouth. And these are his eyes. So what we need to do, we need to draw Sonic's pupils and his irises. Okay, the bit that goes around the pupil in the eye. So this is how we're going to do it. Slightly towards the left of this eye shape here, we are going to draw sort of a tall oval shape like that. OK, and we're going to draw another one again, slightly towards the left of this eye. We're going to do another one just here, quite near to the nose like that. OK, then inside that oval shape, a little way inside, we're going to do another one, almost exactly the same shape, but just a bit smaller. One there. Do the same over here. One there, like that. Oh, you remember Ringo, who I showed you in the photos? Did you just hear that bark? That's him standing outside the door. He wants to come in. I'm not going to let him in because he'll only pester me. Ringo, go and lie down. I don't know, Ringo. OK, now, inside that smaller oval shape that we've done, we're going to do an even smaller oval shape 
like that. There we go. Do you know what? I might have to let Ringo in. If I let him in, he might be quiet. Hang on, let's just finish our eyes first of all. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna color in that oval shape around there. We're gonna leave that little tiny one white. There we go. Oh, Ringo. Hang on a sec. Let's just let Ringo in. Come on then. Come on then, Ringo. In you come. You gotta be quiet. You gotta promise to be quiet. I'm showing everybody how to draw Sonic the Hedgehog. Right. Sorry about that. Where were we? Yes, the eyes. Now then, the irises of the eyes. What we're going to do, we're gonna add just a few little tiny lines like that coming out. And look, it makes a really simple but effective eye. Okay, just like that. Right then, now, I'm gonna show you another little trick here. We want to sort of suggest that he's got eyebrows here, but we're not gonna actually draw eyebrows in. But what we are going to do is, see where this curve goes up? We are just gonna put our pens on it. We're gonna follow it round, but we're just gonna come out a bit like that. And we're gonna do just the same here. And it just suggests that there's a sort of, a bit of a hoodedness to the eyes, a bit of an eyebrowness to the eyes. Okay, right. Now, we have got to draw in Sonic's head, okay? Now, Sonic's head is really big. He has these great big sort of spiky bits because he's a hedgehog. We mustn't forget that he's a hedgehog. So he has these great big spiky bits. So what we're gonna do though, we're gonna start over here on this side of his head and just a little bit away from where we drew that eye, a oh, Ringo, he wants to go out now. Can you believe this? Right, sorry about this. Go on then, out you go, Ringo. Go on, off you go. Don't bark to come in again. I don't know, that dog, he changes his mind all the time. Right, where was I? Yes, we're gonna put our pen here and we are gonna just come up next to that eye. And we're gonna just curve around a little bit like that. Follow that curve around. And we're gonna stop around about there. Okay, now we have got to do a great big curve now for the first of his spikes. So we are gonna go from here, we're gonna come up we're gonna go round, all the way round in a nice smooth curve to about there, I think. See, he's got a really big head, hasn't he? And because this is a spiky pointy bit, we're gonna come back in from a spike and we're gonna stop roughly there, okay? It doesn't matter too much if you don't get this spacing exactly the same as mine, because I think his spikes, they sort of, they sort of move around a little bit, don't they? But now the next one, we're gonna come down and around again to about there. I think this time. So he really does come out a long way, doesn't it? These spiky bits. Let's go down a bit further and then just come back in and around to about there. So one, two. I think we're going to do three. Should we do three spikes? I reckon it's about three spikes. So we are going to come. This time let's go down and around to about there. Back in. And we are going to stop. There. Now it's very important you don't join this up here because we need to keep that away from there. Now we're going to come back to this right at the end and you're going to see why in a minute or two. But can you see, look, Sonic is really starting to become recognisable, isn't he? Now we need to give him two lovely pointy ears. So up here in the middle of his head, I want you to draw a pretty simple sort of two sides of a triangle shape like that. That's going to be one of his ears. Okay, now we're not gonna join up the bottom of this triangle. In fact, just in the middle, we are gonna draw another line, but we're gonna leave a gap in between. So we're gonna sort of go from there, just to there and leave a gap each side in between. And then we're gonna draw another triangle just inside the bigger triangle like that. And there we go, there's one of Sonic's ears. And his other ear is gonna come out of this bit of the head here. So what we need to do Another triangle shape, one, two. We're gonna make it sort of as close as we can to the same size as that one. And then we're gonna do, they're gonna do the inside of his ear here, but because this ear is pointing that way, we're going to do it on that side of his head. So we're just gonna draw a line very close to the edge, to about there. And then another line coming down there, like that. And can you see I've done a little bit of overlap there? So it's a bit like these bits here, just little bits of overlap there and then make your drawing look a little bit more sort of professional. Yeah? Okay. Let's add 
a tiny little, remember I said we were just suggesting the eyebrows. We're gonna just add a little bit more of a suggestion by just doing a tiny little line there. It just makes him look ever so slightly smilier. Okay, now we've got to move on to Sonic's body. So what we're gonna do, remember we're gonna leave that gap there. We're gonna move over to about this area here. So sort of maybe a third of the way along the bottom line. And we are just gonna draw a line coming down and stopping around about there, okay? Like that. And then let's do another one parallel here because this is gonna be one of Sonic's arms. And then we're gonna do exactly the same over here. One arm going to about there, and another arm coming in, well, not another arm, another line, the bottom half of his arm, like that. Okay, now, his body, he's, we're gonna do him standing up with his arms kind of apart, like that, so we're gonna do a nice curvy line coming down to about there. That's gonna be one side of his body, then we're gonna do another curvy line. Let's do it coming down to about there, like that. And then we need to give him two legs, don't we? So we're gonna put our pen next to the bottom half of that line. We're gonna come up in a nice smooth curve down and around to about there. And there we go, you can sort of see Sonic starting to take shape. Let's give him, he's got a little sort of white, or sort of, I think it's a yellowy sort of patch on his tummy. So we're gonna draw a shape. It's a bit like a sort of curved rectangle, a bit narrow at the bottom and the top, like that. And that's gonna be Sonic's tummy. Now then, Sonic, he wears these sort of quite cool gloves, doesn't he, these white gloves. So this is how we do the gloves. Now this is quite easy. Actually, do you know what? I'm just gonna extend that because I want them to be about the same length there. Now, what you do on the end of this arm, I want you just to draw a simple rectangle, like that, going straight across his wrist. And we're gonna do the same here, but I'm gonna do it slightly differently. First of all, I'm just gonna do a line that blocks off the end of that arm, like that. And then I'm gonna draw my rectangle coming out of here, going up and around, down, and joining back up here. So you can sort of see, it looks like his arm is going into this bit of the glove. And now we've got to draw his hands. Now the, I would say this is probably the trickiest bit of this drawing here, because we're gonna draw his hand. So this is how we're gonna do it. We'll start with his thumb. So we're gonna do a hand, a thumb coming out here at that angle and going down to about there, okay? A nice thumb. Now, I'm gonna show you a very easy way to do cartoon character hands, okay? A little bit easier than drawing each individual finger. What we're gonna do, we're gonna draw the hand as one big shape. But I'm gonna sort of do curved bits at the end to suggest each finger. So there's one finger, two fingers, three finger, four finger, like that. And then I'm just gonna join that back up to the glove. Okay, so it's sort of a handshake, but I haven't drawn each individual finger. Instead, what I'm gonna do, where I've made these little kind of curvy bits, I'm just gonna add a little line, just comes down a little way, and that sort of suggests a hand. And then if you add a curve coming from this corner, like that, you can sort of see is his hand, can't you? Let's do the same over here. First of all, a thumb. Exactly like we did before. And then we're gonna do the hand coming down. One, two, three, four. Remember his little finger's a bit shorter, so I've done that a bit shorter, and then I'm gonna join that back up. Again, I'm just gonna do those little suggestions of fingers, like that. And I'll add a little bit of this area of the thumb here, this sort of padded area here. And there we go. Our little Sonic is nearly done now, to be honest, isn't he? Okay, feet. Now he wears some very cool trainers, these red trainers, but again, he's got these sort of foldy bits before we actually draw the trainer. So we're gonna do a same, the same thing, exactly the same thing that we did here, we're gonna do here, okay? So first of all, we need to block off the leg. Like that, okay? Then we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna start from here. We're gonna come down to about there. Follow the curve around, come out here, follow that curve around. And you can see he's got a little sock on. Is it a sock? I'm not sure if it is a sock. I'm going to say it's a sock. And then this side, let's do the same. But this time, we're looking at this leg from a slightly different angle. So we are going to do, we're going to do it sort of coming 
he was sort of looking at it from below slightly, so we didn't need to do the bit where we see his leg going in, but it's a similar sort of shape. And then his feet, his trainers. First of all, what we're gonna do, you put your pen on the left-hand side here, we're gonna come straight down. Then we're gonna go around in a sort of foot shape and a curve. And then we're just gonna join up and again in a sort of curvy shape like that to get one of his trainers. Because he's wearing trainers, it's got a sort of sole. So let's add a sort of slightly curved sole. Then he has this stripe that goes across the top of his foot. So we've got to imagine you're drawing a sort of rainbow shape on his foot. One, two, like that. There you go, one trainer done. The other one, we're going to come straight down from here. Sort of like a mirror image, really. Make sure you get them roughly the same size. It will look much better if you get them the same size. There we go. Tidy up any loose ends that you you make by mistake, like I just did. Let's add this trainer sole like that and our little rainbow shape. And look, we are nearly done. Now, do you remember I said to leave a gap here right at the end? The reason is he's got three stripes, three stripes, three spikes, but actually we need to give him four. And the last one is the one at the back of his head. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our pen on that bit here that we stopped short of his his mouth area and we're going to come down behind this arm we stop there we carry on through stop about there and then we're going to just go up here and stop when we get to his back and look it looks like his spikes are going behind his arm now we are very close to being done now do you remember what my favorite little trick is yeah that's right shadow we're going to add just a little bit of a scribble few little lines either side of his feet just to make it look like he is standing on a surface. Okay, now it's time to colour Sonic in. Now, Sonic, he is mainly blue. He's a blue hedgehog, isn't he? So he's mainly blue. He has a few sort of yellowy, browny bits sort of in his ears and around this sort of area, his muzzle. Do you call that a muzzle on a hedgehog? I think you might do. His muzzle and his little sort of tummy area here. His gloves are white. These socky bits are white. His trainers are red with a white stripe. So that's what we're gonna do. And I am gonna do it as per usual. I'm gonna do some super duper speedy coloring in. So here we go. On your marks, get set, go. Okay, so there we go. A finished coloured in Sonic. You might have noticed I've gone over the edge with a bit of my colouring here and there, bits and pieces. But you know what? I don't think that matters. Sometimes these little imperfections are what make people realise that your drawing is actually a drawing done by a real life human. And I really actually quite like those little mistakes because you know what? They just go to show that we can all make them, don't we? Now, the very last thing that we need to do, I know none of you will forget this, we need to sign our drawings, don't we? So here we go, Rob, like that, a little kiss. And there we go, a little drawing of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, the reason that we've been drawing Sonic the Hedgehog is because I've got to tell you something very, very exciting. Sonic the Hedgehog, the film, is available on the 10th of April, which is today for you to download and keep wherever you get your films from, wherever you download your films from, you will be able to get Sonic the Hedgehog from today. And you should watch it because it's a really brilliant film. It's really fun. And I love Sonic the Hedgehog. So listen, it's been a real pleasure to show you how to draw this little blue chap today. I hope you've had a lot of fun. And you know what? I'm going to see you very soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. Until then, take care.